Okay, so we're going to do some French polishing right now. So I'm going to take a little bit of a cloth and we're going to take preferably linen. I just um, didn't have any and don't feel like queuing up at Lincraft at the moment. Uh, we've got some sheep's wool. I'm going to pop that in the middle. I've uh, got some pre-mix shellac and methylated spirits. That could be a bit more settled, but but yeah. Uh, and we've got some methylated spirits. Take a little bit of that. And we're going to pop that in there. And we want more of this than the shellac. So I've got about five mils there. I'm going to pop in. I'm just going to go all over that. Cool. Pop the lid on there. And we're going to make a little a dim sim. Turn that. And then you've got this little pad. You want to make sure it's just like wet to the touch, but not soaking wet. That's probably a little bit too wet. But, um,. Yes, we kind of learn by trial and error. And what we want to do is massage it on. Okay. And the trick is not to stop, so don't lift. And you just kind of go wipe back and forward. Um, this takes a long time of just kind of working in the shellac into the wood. And it builds up over time. So the whole idea here is patience and perseverance. Now this has already had a small coat on it already. That's why it's looking a little bit shiny. And if you saw my previous little post, um, this was just a kit guitar that I'm building up for a video series. Now if it gets a little bit tacky and it's not turning anymore, the trick is then is you get a little bit of um, olive oil and you just want to put a little bit to work around the guitar. Not too much, but the whole idea is to help allow that shellac to, to move around the wood. And then of course if you run out you, you reapply more shellac into the actual sheep's wool in the middle so it's meant to aid it there we go and it's not just all in the one motion you want to work it in all different directions uh, so this is how they also do violins um, why is it not as popular would you say um, probably because of the amount of effort you have to put in and it's also easier to damage the finish um, so, one thing that isn't talked about though, is it's repairable. So if you do damage the finish, you can just break out another cloth with the pre shellac on it and um, you could work in a fix. So, it's not as scary as you would think. Um, the art of it is patience and kind of getting a feel um, for how much you apply to the cloth. And um, as I said earlier, I already put too much on. So I'm going to have to work this in for longer. Um, but the oil was a great trick that I've now learnt and sharing with you.